Welcome to the testing world. In this session, I'll show you how we can set up Unix or Linux environment on our Windows machine. To practice Unix or Linux command, we need environment. And in previous session, I have explained either you can go for the online environment or you can set up on your machine. If you already have Linux machine with you, so you can practice all these commands in your Linux machine or Unix machine. If you have Mac, because internally Mac is also using Unix environment, so you can practice your all these commands on the Mac as well, Mac machine as well. But if you are working on Windows machine, how we can set up environment to practice this course. So now I'll show you what all the steps we need to perform. So first of all, here I'll show you how we can create a virtual machine on our system and on that virtual machine, we will set up Unix or Linux operating system. So now, step one would be, first of all, we need to download Oracle Virtual Box. So that is a URL, just copy this URL, go to the browser and put it. So first we need to download a virtual box and that will be virtual box. Here on this page, you have the option to download this virtual box. So latest version as of now is 6.0.14. And I'm working on a Windows machine. Just click on this. So you will notice a virtual box started to download. So let it download. Once it is completed, once download is completed, means our step one is done where we have downloaded virtual box. Here we have downloaded virtual box. Now as a step two, I want to download Unix or Linux operating system image so next i'll just copy this url and put here here you will get you will get images of many operating system which can be set up on virtual box so you are getting virtual box images here if you just scroll down so you will start to get lot of operating system option you can set up any you can set up anything any operating system in my case, I was using Ubuntu. So here at the bottom, you will get option of Ubuntu. So just go to the Ubuntu. Now it is asking for download Ubuntu virtual box image. Yes, I just click on this. It will take you to the next screen. Now here, would you like to download this? And on the first option, I'll just click on the download. It's a 1.8 GB file. As I click on a download, it's ne it's navigating to the next page and here it will start download. So it's a 1.8 GB file, which is going to take a lot of time to download. I'm just waiting this file to be downloaded. So I have downloaded it previously. You can check it over here. That is already downloaded. So now you have to wait until this zip file is downloaded. Zip file or the format is .7z. So that's similar to the zip file. Wait for this file to be downloaded completely. Okay, once it is downloaded, we need to unzip that. So we are aware about how to go for how to unzip any file. So just select, right click and extract. Again, this extraction is also going to take much time. So this extraction is also going to take a lot of time because it's a 1.8 GB file. So once extracted completely, then we will navigate to the next step. And it is taking a lot of time. So in between, I'm just pausing this recording. So here step two is done where we have downloaded virtual box image. Plus we have extracted that. Okay. Once you extract it, you will get it like this. So you will get a file with dot VDI format. Okay. Now in the step three, we need to set up virtual box. So the in step one, we have downloaded that. Now in the step three, we are going to install it. It's very straightforward process. Here we have a virtual box. Just double click on this. So it's a simple exe file run by the double click. Click on run. Now installer is running. As I told you, no, just next. No changes required here. Next, next yes and install 
what all the options we are getting just follow next so it will take some time to complete the installation process once this will be installed successfully after that we need to open this VM virtual box so let it complete then I'll show you the next step and wherever you are getting these options just click on the install means we need to go for the positive workflow So once installation is completed, you will get this. So I'm, I'm going to click on the finish and I want to start this virtual box. So I'll just keep this check on. Click on the finish. Now, it will start virtual box on my machine. So if you check it, this virtual Oracle VM virtual box manager is started. So if you notice here, my third step is done where we have installed this virtual box and we open it now last step is import downloaded vdi machine in virtual box so we have downloaded this vdi in the step 2 we need to use that and we already extracted so we need to use it over here okay how we can use it so first of all go to the virtual box here we need to click on the new as we click on the new it is asking for what is the name you want to give so I'm saying okay Ubuntu setup now what is the memory you want to allocate to this VM so in my case I'm going to allocate around 4 GB RAM or I'll say more than 4 GB RAM to this box or I can say to this operating system now here we need to select third radio button use an existing virtual hard disk file from where you want to pick it so I'll just click on this click on this button add and you need to select that VDI file so which you get after step 2 just select it open and choose so now everything is done on this screen just click on create so now it will create create a new machine here now to start it there is a start button that is already selected click on the start button so now it will start hitting this machine it will take some time over here so after doing lot of process it open this so now once the process is completed it will show you this login screen so here username is already there and same would be the password so I'm putting here OS boxes dot org so username and password is same click on this login and now this machine is going to be started but again it will take some time and first time it will be a bit slow so just wait for desktop to be appear only after that we can use it I'm just pausing in between so now it started and we are getting desktop here but we are not going to use GUI options of Unix or Linux we want to learn commands for learning command we we need to start terminal for that just click on this button at the corner you will get terminal emulator click on this terminal will be started and now here you can write your commands like we are going to learn a lot of commands I'm using few commands and you you will get result of it here we have performed these four steps to set up Unix or Linux environment on Windows machine and we have created a virtual machine by using Oracle virtual box that's all we have for this session thanks for watching this video